Two rules, no booze in this house. Number two, no girls upstairs in those bedrooms. Known for serious films like Boyhood, which follows a boy's life into adulthood, one would expect Richard Linklater to offer a deep philosophical look into the life of college students. But everybody wants some is anything but that. While Boyhood had a 12-year-long arc, this film spans just one weekend before classes start at a Texas college in 1980. I'm pretty sure that that is a new school record. A group of baseball jocks gather on campus to meet, practice, and party. The main character is the new kid on the block, Jake, played by Blake Jenner. You have not earned teammate status yet. Who the hell are you? Oh, uh, Jake Bradford. And until you do, you're nobody. Richard Linklater says this college comedy was based on his own college experience. It's just such a unique time in your life, you know. You're away from home, all the freedom you're confronted with, and to try to figure out who you are in the world. That personal exploration often took place at parties, and Wyatt Russell, who plays one of the athletes, says making the film often felt like that. We did the wardrobe, we listened to the music, and then you just kind of play with your friends. Quinton Johnson, who plays one of his teammates, says the youthful ensemble had to put themselves into a different era. We're a bit more disconnected as, as college students today. Um, I mean, we have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, there's Bumble now, I don't even know what Bumble <laughs> is, there's Tinder, you know, all these kinds of different oh, things. Oh, you don't want to know what Bumble is. Oh, man. You know, all these different things that kind of substitute for real human interaction. But some things don't change, says actor Glenn Powell, who plays Finnegan. Hey, ladies! In the 80s, like today, college students were testing the limits of their newfound freedom. They're tasting the rainbow, so to speak, you know. It's a bunch of guys who think they know who they are and don't but are confident in whatever version that is that they're choosing at the moment. The music is infectious. You got to hang out with some fun, eccentric, kind of cool people who seem like your friends, and it was just a good time. You know, you, you had to, you kind of absorbed their energy and their spirit, and it was a good place to be. Ling later recreates that feel-good moment in American popular history, because everybody wants some. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Washington.